Can you roll it in the paint? <gasps> oh, well done, Lewis. Want to do it again? <laughs> a ball? Is it coming, Oscar? A ball? No, it is. Oh, oh yeah. no. Hundred and the biggest one. One thousand. Well, I think it's very important that we provide a good quality um, for the children and for the parents to feel reassured by what we offer. You know, children are our most valuable resource and parents pay a lot of money to come to nursery so they want a provision that gives them a lot of experiences um, so they can grow and develop and, and get to their full potential. Really. What does this one feel like? Do I, do I, do I, That's a, a, a ray. A ray, yes. We have a very strong, um, well-trained workforce who provide their expertise. And again, that's something that parents need to feel they're getting. And that's very important. It's, it's part of the value for money that we would offer. Roll it to Lewis. I think polar bears get very hungry because there's so much ice and snow. Is that when they have babies? That is when they have babies. So it says mother and cubs break out of their winter den in spring. From a mum's perspective, it's having a really good variety of things to do, you know, whether they're a boys or girls, you know, there's physical activities outside, things are safe as well. Inside the classroom there's um, maybe challenging activities for them, liter practicing literacy skills, numeracy skills. Peg. What do you think peg begins with? Emily enjoys everything. She loves the outdoors. She loves sort of just being allowed to free reign and do what she wants to do, really, or under supervision. <laughs> Leo is a lion brave. He lives in London too. I think there has to be a fairer approach to how we're going to fund childcare. And for many of us, the biggest concern that we've got is that as funding um, increases nominally or is even frozen um, and is set at a level that each local authority wishes to set rather than a, a government setting, um, we are losing money. Uh, our, our value and our belief is making sure that children are secure and that their learning is good. Um, I myself invest in high quality resources, in, in brilliant staff who are very well qualified and who need continuous development. Um, and, and to enable that to continue, the government are going to seriously have to look at how they help this type of provision continue. And this is when the door helps the door to rise. In the oven with using the what do we add to it? What do we add to it again? The yeast. The yeast. What, what, what did you add in there? Sugar, flour. Sugar, flour. Cheese. Cheese. We really get very attached to our children at all levels. We see them come in as babies and grow and develop and finally leave at preschool. So it's important for us that we see the next setting as well. So we form strong links with the schools that they're going to go to. And again, that's something we think mums and dads will want of us. Oh, it's, it's weird, it's weird, it's weird. It's really weird. We have friends whose children don't go to nursery. And I also, my little go, does and there's, you can tell the difference between going to a nursery and not going to a nursery. I think they become more independent and they're taught to be independent um, and not, they don't just rely on the parents all the time, they're sort of they're told to, to do things on their own so I think it's a good start in life for them. I know it's a very early start, but it's a good start for them. We are specialists in that field. We are here to cater for the baby, the toddler and the preschooler. And we do it brilliantly. And uh, we do it in conjunction with the parent. So each child is an individual, each family has different needs. And the, the, the relationship that we build with, with those children and with their parents and with that family is what we have time to do. And that is why we are professional and why we are good and why we have exemplary practice.